Let's now have factor theorem. Okay. The polynomial P of X has X minus R as a factor if and only if P of R is equal to zero. So you have an if and only if statement. Let's search Google kung paano nagpo-prove ng if and only if. So I typed in how to prove an if and only if statement. Tapos yung pinakaunang lumabas. Sabi dito, to prove a theorem of the form if, uh, form A, if and only if B, you first prove if A, then B. Then you prove if B, then A. And that's enough to complete the proof. Yun yun. Maniniwala pa tayo dito. The polynomial P of X has X minus R as a factor if and only if P of R is equal to zero. So in part A, sabi dito, kung if and only if to, we, uh, to, we need to show that if A then B. So if, yung una, if X minus R is a factor, then P of R is equal to zero. So that's the first thing that we need to prove. And yung kabalik taran, if P, if B, then A. So if P of R is equal to 0, then X minus R is a factor. What do we mean by if X minus R is a factor? Or what do we mean by X minus R being a factor of P of X? Pag sinabing factor, kailangan yung remainder 0. So let's now show the proofs. Proofs to kasi madami. Proofs. A. Um, what do you mean by x minus r as a factor? So, ikasabi, pag x minus r is a factor, pag factor, ikasabi, pag dinivide mo siya, walang remainder. So, by the division algorithm, x minus r is a factor means that is a factor of p of x um, means that x minus r is a factor of p of x means that by the division algorithm, wala nang wala na dapat tayong remainder. So, p of x is equal to x, quantity x minus r, times q of x. So, wala na tayong... Okay, now, let's determine p of r. So, it follows that p of r is equal to r minus r times q of r. And therefore, p of r. p of r is equal to 0 times q of x. And therefore, p of x is equal to 0. So, we're done with the first part. Let's have letter B. If P of R is equal to 0, that's ay yung unang ibig sabihin. So, if P of R is equal to 0, P of R is equal to 0. So, yun yung una. Again, we will be using the division algorithm. So, given tayo ng P of R is equal to 0. So, by the division algorithm, by the division algorithm of polynomials, so we know that Hindi ko ito nasulat doon sa first part, ha? pero kung kailangan nyo ng super proof dito, so kailangan kompleto yung mga statements nyo. So we'll get uh, P of X equals um, X minus R times Q of X plus R. Yan. Um, given, given na uh, given na uh, ang x my ang p of r daw ay equal to 0 remember p of r is equal p of r is equal to r yung capital r so pwede ting paltan yon ang p of r so p of x is equal to x minus r times q of x now plus p of r this is by the remainder theorem so look at them by the remainder theorem so we substitute and then p of x is equal to x minus r times q of x plus 0. Kasi basis sa given, p of r is equal to 0. And um, p of x is equal to x minus r times q of x. Kasi 0, pwede tanggalin yan. Now, itong statement na to means that x minus r is a factor of p of x. Um, x minus r is a factor of p of x. Okay, so that's it. So that's how we show um, the factor theorem. Let's have some examples. Okay, let's first have x minus 1. And in this case, we know that r... In this case, we know that r is equal to 1. Um, r is equal to 1. Therefore, p of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 cubed minus 7 times 1 plus 2. 2 times 1 cubed, that's 2. Minus 7 plus 2. 
we we'll get 4 minus 7, that's minus 3. And since this is not equivalent to 0, therefore x minus 1 is not a factor of um, p of x. Okay, so let's have x plus 1. Kung x plus 1 naman to, um, we can express x plus 1 as x minus negative 1. So therefore r is equal to minus 1. And then we determine p of negative 1. 2 times negative 1 cubed minus 7 times negative 1 plus 2. So we'll get a negative 2 because negative 1 cubed, that's negative 1. And this will give us plus 7 plus 2. And then we get 7. And therefore, it's not um, since it's not also equivalent to 0, therefore, x plus 1 is not a factor. Not a factor of p of x. Let's have the last one, x minus 2. Let's hope this is a factor x plus 2 can be written as um, x minus negative 2, which gives us r equals minus 2. Let's determine p of negative 2. That's 2 times negative 2 cubed minus 7 times negative 2 plus 2. Um, negative 2 cubed, that's minus 16. I'm uh, sorry, minus 8 times 2, that's minus 16. Negative 7 times negative 2, that is plus 14 plus 2 which will eventually give us a zero. So therefore, x plus 2 is a factor, is a factor of p of x. Let's have example number 8. Determine the value of a so that x minus 1 is a factor of that polynomial. And letter b, determine the value of a if x plus 1 is a factor of that one. Okay. Kung factor siya, ibig sabihin, if we determine p of 1 or p of negative 1, the answer must be zero. So for letter a, x minus r, x minus 1, so r is equal to 1. So in order for us to determine a, and if x minus 1 is a factor, therefore the p of 1 is equal to 0. p of 1 must be equal to 0. And p of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 cubed plus 1 squared. Sina substitute ko lang lahat dito ha. Yan, 1 squared plus 2 times a. 2a times 1 plus 4. This must be equivalent to 0. And um, 2 times 1 cubed, that is 2 plus 1 squared, that's 1, plus 2a times 1, that's 2a, plus 4 equals 0. Then let's combine like terms. We have 2 plus 1, that is 3 plus 4, that is 7. And then let's put it on the other side. We have 2a is equal to negative 7. Divide everything by 2 we'll get a equals negative 7 over 2. For the other one, x plus 1 is a factor, so therefore your r is negative 1 because x plus 1 can be written as x minus negative 1. So r is equal to negative 1, therefore p of negative 1 is equal to 0. So we need to determine p of negative 1. Substitute lang natin dito sa x cubed plus kx k squared x squared minus 2ax minus 16. So that's that x cubed. So that's negative 1 cubed. Ko sa ulo. K, k squared x squared. k squared and then negative 1 squared. Is this a plus? Yeah, plus. Minus 2ax minus 2 times a times negative 1 minus 16. Minus 16. Now, this should be equal to 0. So, negative 1 cubed, that's negative 1. Uh, negative 1 squared, that's positive 1. So, k squared na lang to. Um, plus 2a, kasi minus 2 times negative 1, that's plus 2a. Minus 16. It's equal to 0. And then, uh, we leave 2a here. Kasi may k squared pa tayo, no? Ah, oh, baka tayo may k squared. Find the value of a lang to, no? Um, siguro in terms of k na lang. In terms of k. Yeah? In terms of k. Kasi yung k, k squared, x squared. Eh. So we'll get um, minus, this is minus 17. No? Minus 17. So we have 2a equals um, 17 minus k squared. Lipat yung 16, saka yung 1 sa kabila. And then yung k squared sa kabila. So divide everything by 2. And a is equivalent to 17 minus k squared all over 2.